Howdy folks, welcome back to Faded Paint Garage. We're going on another adventure today. So we got uh, Tony driving, I'm in the passenger seat. We got Jared, the homeless guy, again in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might recognize him from the Camaro recovery video in various truck stops. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm a legend. So we're, uh, we're after another rarity today. We're heading up Tollgate Mountain. Um, hopefully we'll be below the snow, but uh, we're, we're gonna tackle it regardless of what we find. So. Tony, maybe you can fill us in a little bit more on what we're going after here. We're going after a Studebaker Weasel M29, um, built during the war. It's a tracked vehicle. Gulf War? Uh, well, that's that second war. <laughs> oh, the second the one. The second world war, yeah. All right. yeah, yeah. It was uh, made for snow and it's amphibious, it'll float. So as far as we know, it's immobile right now. We're going to have to winch it on the trailer, but uh, we've Tony's got a pretty fancy setup for doing that, so no more hand driven come along videos so we, we're gonna do this legit today so so we're we're off and running <laughs> Backup skills here. Pull your stab out of here. There you go. Get half turned around anyway. Yeah. Okay. You're trap, trap. getting close. That thing's cool, man. Yeah, that, it's in good shape. That is freaking neat. That's pretty exciting. To put her in four wheel drive here, Tony was digging holes, so. Been lots of snow and then it melts up here and snows and melts, so it's nice and soft. Jared will push it on. I got this. That's why we brought him. Man, this thing is cool. Got some doors cut in it, unfortunately, but that's fixable. How'd you get all this thing here? Huh? Well, I look comfy. You're right. Spend all the day for <laughs> Alex's size. Yeah. Big dog house. Oh, well, yeah, back seat. Bench, oh, I got track bench, parts. That's bench awesome. Back seat. Yeah. I'm riding on the, in this on the way back. <laughs> looks like a seat out of a school bus, I think. Man, how cool is that? Tractor seat. <laughs> Victor's trying to convince Tony to leave his winch behind after we load the weasel up. The fellow he's getting it from. I don't know if he's going to convince him of that, but I can't fault him for trying. He's got a pretty nice setup here. A lot better than mine. This could be really cool. What year is this, Tony? I think he was at 42. Or maybe he's done no for sure, but. World War II, I believe it still has the original, or what he believes is the original Studebaker six cylinder engine. So far so good. I think so, just don't stand behind it in case it decides to let go. <laughs> yeah, there you going on there so somebody's taken and made all these tracks with these chain links and stuff pretty clever a lot of work can't get tracks for these things so 
making something work is about what people are stuck with these days. Jeez, this is too easy. Say she's there. Good enough. Yeah, you got plenty of tongue weight. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna grab one of those blocks and throw it behind the track just so it doesn't find its way off the trailer while we're messing around. Yeah, just so it just Thank you, sir. I think that's downhill anyway, it looks like it. Everything that related to it. There was more than I thought. There was a whole bunch of those tracks. Huh? Oh, good. Yeah, because it's, it's good to have those tracks parked. I, I, I know. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm glad that uh, they came up for sale. And, mm -hmm. I get to work. Well, I couldn't from, give yeah. it away, so I had to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. the way it goes. <laughs> Man, that's cool. That's freaking Yeah, that's freaking neat, man. Just gotta get it going and get the snow again. Drive it back up here. Yeah, drive it back up here. Oh, that's cool. Throw some green paint on her and a star, we're set. Just have to take orange and blue off. Yeah. Underneath it. Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. Buff, just buff on it a little yeah. bit. I'm sure we can bring it back to its natural luster. Yeah, that is freaking sweet. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> just don't eat those paint chips. Any layer of that could be lead as old as it is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. That gives something for Tony to do. He can get his buffing wheel out. Has to be done by hand, though. Need to find the numbers off it. You know, you can find the original numbers. Sometimes can tell you something. Get her fired up. We'll take her on the Alcan. <laughs> That'd be an adventure. What are you thinking? I'd use that clavis and I'd just use the tow hitch, Tony. Yeah, just go out that pencil hitch. Yeah, there. I'd just go right through it, come back to here, make sure it's locked shut. But yeah, yeah that would be. I think it even works. Yeah. Half the time these things are. Jeez. Get half your money back just out of that pencil hitch right there. Yeah. Watch you guys do all the work. I like this. I like recovering other people's stuff. I don't have to do as much work. Yeah. I like it. Although I usually attach the uphill side first. Not not to be judgy, but it's got it's blocked. Though. Jared blocked the track, so it decides decides to go anywhere. Yeah. Safety first. That's what you brought me for. I'm your safety supervisor. You even still got a little, or the little, what do they call those? Uh, not oh, hidden lights. It's like a blackout. Blackout light lights. That's what they are. Driving at night. Yeah. So the, you don't get aerated. Yeah, this little, little this little tiny guy here. Yeah, just barely enough light to see at night, but not enough to where you're gonna draw attention to yourself. It no, it's for well, it's it's for basically operating this at night during wartime. So you're not putting out any light that can be seen for miles away. It's just barely enough light. That's what the way I understand it anyway. And the machine gun is inside. That's right. Yeah, we got got the 50 cal in the back. <laughs> All right, we're all loaded up and ready to rock. So we're gonna get her down off the mountain. Jared noticed that the windows are about to fall out, so he popped those out so I don't lose them on the way. Throw them into some bystander on the way down the hill. Got to visit him with Victor. He's a very, very cool dude. 
It was very enjoyable. So we'll, awesome. he's, <laughs> what a character. <laughs> so we'll uh, hit the road. I'm doing a tie down check here along the side of the road. Tony's afraid it's gonna fall off, so we're gonna yeah, I'm a little paranoid. double check things. Hopefully we don't get stuck pulling out of here. Everything's so soft from the big snow last week and it's already melted off, so. That one's good. All right. safe and sound. Tony's gonna park it at my place for a while till he clears out enough room at his so we'll get her drug off of here probably with the backhoe. Be pretty quick and easy. Side open. Out here? Yeah. No, no. Well, no. Oh, See here. the holes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that hole's about. They must have something like that. Running through there. I don't know what that's about exactly. Is it on the other side too? Uh, there's no. like there is a like a well, actual factory hole. Maybe they had a. I do like the factory hole over. There. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to rip a new one. So. <laughs> Where'd you find the numbers at? It's on that uh, that right. bulkhead in the middle. Inside. Oh. Boy, that is quite the window. Right with the... Oh, cool. Yep, got all the numbers on that. And then there's another number on the other side, which uh, like a serial, like serial number or something. Okay. Oh, there you can see where it had it was latch had latch down. Oh, yeah, I see. A little, uh, little nub. snappy hooky it's things. It's like a 105... A better picture of it. Like yeah, I mean, do some decoding. Yeah, find out the build date and everything on it. That's freaking cool, man. Holy cow, look at all those parts. That's huge, having all those track parts. That's like I was saying, this is white and that's factory color. A lot of times they paint, painted these white for the snow. Oh, I'll be darned. So, white, you know, snow camo. Man, there's a pile of them. Of course, that might be one pair of tracks i don't know there's 52 per side yeah or something it, like that so. it's gonna be a pile of when they're all yeah. it adds up in a hurry you got 50 yeah. yeah that is really cool in there and I mean, uh, yeah well i mean it might not take too much according to what uh victor was saying it's not running but it's all goobered up there they broke down or something or yeah that's weird yeah you think that would but you, you know, you're pulling on the brakes, maybe they pull on it real hard and bent it. Yeah, down. especially if they're at adjustment. They're mm -hmm. pulling them past mm -hmm. where they're really at, not knowing they need to adjust the freaking things. Caterpillars are like that too. Just keep pulling back on it even though they're, you need to adjust them. <laughs> Just more and more until it breaks. Huh? Roof's not terrible. I mean, for being a homemade job. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, they did a pretty decent job for what it is. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. No. Can't see right. backwards. Yeah. How many miles are on it? 
<laughs> well, let's see. It says uh, two thousand, almost three thousand. Is that actually like odometer, or is that an hour or an hour? Um, it's probably mileage. It's I probably guess. mileage. Actually, it's probably mileage. That's all, actually it's surprising a lot of miles. Uh, quite a bit of miles for what this thing is but yeah like i said if they use them for the snow resorts or whatever for hauling skiers they'd be they'd use the crap out of them a lot of miles on it if at a resort. yeah i should i got some pictures of that where they got like a tow rope behind it and they got like five or six skiers behind oh them, huh. and they're pulling them up the up the you know the, the slope yeah that's pretty cool so i, I bet you that's why it was up there i, I got the wing nuts on these Oh, oh yeah, that'll be huge. <laughs> oh, that's for like, adjustments, maybe. Must be. I don't know. What are the nubbins on the track pad? Have you seen? Is, is that normal? Did that? Did they yeah, come um, like that? Okay. Yeah, pretty, um, yeah, that's for sure. That way you can drive it on the hard pack and not yep. tear your tracks up or something. Yep. Yep. See a bunch of them are missing, but that's yeah. As long as it goes around, that's pretty cool. You're not going to take it down the pavement parade, probably. No. no. It's more of a take it to the show and park it in the grass kind of vehicle, or, you know, off-road stuff. Yeah, yeah. A little drain hole there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got a little bit of cancer. A little here. weight reduction for your the race version. She's got a few patches here and there where some modifications were. Yeah. Right one in that, underneath that cover, too. There's got a cherry bomb on there. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's a blue night. I wonder, is that original? Night. That might be. <laughs> Butte, Montana or something? Yeah, it's, at least it's made in the USA. Yeah, that's probably cool. Blue night, ooh. It's the Midwest. They're supposed to have a, bomb. like a oval Jeep muffler on them. Oh, okay. Yeah. An actual one that silences a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sounds pretty neat. I love the uh, old sticker. That's funny. Yeah. 1992. Back of oh. Back. oh, back of back. Back of back. That's the, not the front of the back. Not the front of the back. That's the back of the back. That's, ah, that's freaking cool, dude. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super happy I was able to yeah. make a deal. All right, well, maybe next episode we'll get her running. <laughs> At least maybe pressure washed or something, so. All right, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Subscribe so you can watch this, and Tony's going to restore this whole thing. Well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll start tonight. Start tonight. All right, we'll catch you all later.